What is up? <laughs> <laughs> What is up guys and welcome back to the Roddy channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a Rottweiler nutrition guide all the way from birth, all the way up to their adult life. So we've got a couple things to talk about today. So let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Hi, 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 hi. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know, I know, I know. I'll feed you in just a minute, but First we gotta make a video. First we gotta... Junior, come here. Junior, you're the star of the show today. Come here. <laughs> come here. Alrighty guys, so just to start off, we're gonna talk about the importance of understanding that just like an infant that needs milk and nutrients and different vitamins and minerals than we do, puppies need that same thing. So there's a difference between puppy food and adult dog food, and we'll go over a little bit of those differences later on in the video. In today's video, specifically, we're talking about Rottweilers because that's what we do on the Rotty channel, but a lot of this information can be used for other dog breeds as well. So for our puppy formula food, it can go up to two years because Rottweilers technically aren't full grown adults until two years of age. And even then, I think it's more of like two to three, but two is a good baseline. So our dogs will get puppy formula at least until one year old. If he's a little bit underdeveloped, if he's not the proper size, um, and we'll talk about the, the size chart and how we base our dog's growth here in a little bit, but that's when we'll decide if we keep going with puppy food and we mix it in with adult food, or if we stay on strictly puppy food, or if we completely switch over to raw diet or what we do. Huh, little bud? Huh? As long as you're staying happy and healthy and on the right growth path, then we don't have to worry about you being healthy. Ah! Well, he's getting better. He's getting better. It's changing from a lot of biting to licking now. He's understanding, hey, my teeth hurt. I'm only allowed to bite toys. Even though he's still training, still have some accidents. Uh, one thing to remember in puppies is their energy levels are usually higher than adult dogs, but the problem is their bellies aren't fully developed and big enough to fit a lot of food in them. So where an adult dog can eat once in the morning, once at night, sometimes even once a day and be fine, puppies can't because they have those bursts of energy, they use up all those calories, they burn up all that food, they digest it faster than an adult dog, and then they don't have anything else to go on the rest of the day. Also on top of that, you've got animal proteins, you've got crude fats and things like that that will help when the scar tissue and body tissue breaks down and rebuilds because of their rapid growing rate. These guys on an ideal health schedule are gonna grow about two pounds a week for their first year of life. So we're looking at one year, we're gonna be about 100 to 110 pounds. You drop your toy? You drop your toy? Here you go. Here you go. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so we get asked the question a lot, what kind of food do we feed these guys? In today's video, we're just gonna be talking about the kibble diet side of things. We also do raw food diet at night, but if you wanna see some more of that, go check out some of our other videos. I'm not gonna go into depth on that today. We're just gonna be talking about the dry kibble. We don't wanna give our dogs a chance at getting soiled food or have any bacteria grow on that wet food, so we do strictly dry kibble for these guys. It also helps with tartar prevention and build up on the teeth. It helps clean the teeth. It also helps the gums as well. After eight weeks, these guys should be all on dry kibble. If not, you can get yourself some of the mixable uh, mama's milk. I think they sell it at PetSmart. You can get it anywhere online and you can mix a little bit of that in to soften their food. By 12 weeks, these guys should be 100% dry kibble and have no problems eating and digesting all that on their own. 
But uh, anytime you guys switch these guys' foods, you want to make sure to do it gradually. If you're switching from one dog food to another brand of dog food, make sure that you're mixing it in. Do, if you're a normal mixture is say one cup to make it easy, do a half a cup and a half a cup for four meals before you switch over. Alrighty, so now we're going to talk about things you want to look for when looking for a proper dog food. You want to look for a DHA and growth symbol on there. That is important. These guys are growing so rapidly, it's almost scary how big they get. Like, you guys remember when I brought this little guy home? He was tiny, and now he's like huge already. He's like du over double the size in just a couple weeks. But the growth is the most important thing. You want to make sure that they're getting the proper nutrients ah, for their health, for their vision, for their growth, for their joints, for their bones. Um, you want to make sure that you're getting a real good animal protein. You want to make sure that you're getting the proper crude fats. You want to make sure that you're getting the proper amount of calcium for these guys. You want to make sure that you're getting the proper amount of iron for their blood flow. You want to make sure that you're getting the proper probiotics because these guys do have weak stomachs. Like they're really, really gassy. You want to make sure that they're getting the nutrients that they need. And you also want to make sure that you're not overfeeding your puppy. Okay, so we've mentioned it just a couple times, but growth in a puppy is crucial. So you need to match your dog's energy levels to their diet. If you have a dog that is just off the chain wild, he is gonna eat more because he's burning more calories. So make sure that you are mixing their energy levels and their diet to match. Because just because this guy needs say two to three cups of food a day, doesn't mean your dog might need that extra half a cup or extra cup because this guy sleeps quite a bit actually and he actually eats a little bit less than any of like Fluffy ever did as a puppy. But he's doing really well, he's doing the proper weight adjustments by week so we're not worried about it. Um, what was really important is not saying, I don't have the biggest Rottweiler. What's important is saying, my Rottweiler is healthy for his age. That is really the most important thing here. Alrighty, the next tip and trick that I wanna talk about is how important schedule times are. So, what's really important is that these guys, while they're growing and developing a bladder, is that their stomach gets set on a schedule, as well as their bladder, as well as their energy levels. So, this guy knows, just like we do, we have a bedtime, and then there's a time where we wake up. And sometimes we wake up and we're just really excited to do things, sometimes we wake up and we're a little groggy and we don't wanna wake up. He's that way too. Sometimes he'll wake up and he'll be a little grumpy because he's not ready to wake up yet or it's a little later than he wanted to wake up and he's kind of whiny and he hasn't had his morning cup of coffee. That's a joke. They need a schedule just like we do. So he eats right after he wakes up and then he goes, or first he wakes up, he goes outside of his kennel and then he goes potty. Then he comes back in the house, he eats and he goes to sleep for about an hour and then he wakes up and then he gets a couple hours of playtime in. Then we go to work, he stays in his kennel, he naps throughout most of the day, he gets fed when we get home, he gets fed when the other dogs get dinner, and then he gets fed right before bedtime at night. What's really important is he's let out frequently. Hey, hey, bless you, bless you. Let me get your toy. What's really important is that he's let out frequently and he knows what he's doing when he goes outside. So every time we let him outside, we say, Junior, go potty. He goes outside, goes potty, comes directly back in the house. That's teaching him that when we say it's time to go potty, he goes outside, he goes potty, he comes back in the house. If he wants to stay outside, he's more than welcome to do that. But at night, right before we lay down to bed and we're gonna close the doggy door and the doors, we tell the dogs, hey, we're all going potty. They all run outside, they all pee. So that way, if one of them thinks, hey, I've got open range to the doggy door all day, and then you just randomly close it, they didn't know that, they haven't gone out for a while, you fall asleep, they go to go potty, doors closed, so that's why you wanna practice that. Making a schedule will help with their digestive system, making a schedule will help save the carpets and the floors in your guys' house, and it will help these guys stay asleep throughout the night and help you know exactly when they're gonna take a nap throughout the day. Alrighty, so now we're gonna talk about how much should you feed a puppy. Now again, this goes back to matching your dog's needs, but every bag of dog food that is a genuine good brand of dog food should come with some sort of label that says, if your dog weighs this much, feed them this much. If they're going to weigh this much, feed them this much. 
and it kind of sets a schedule for you. Now, again, make sure that you're adjusting that because it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be pretty close. So right now, this guy's eating about two and a half to three cups a day, and over the next month, that's gonna change to four to four and a half cups. He's growing really, really fast. His paws are huge. We've got a lot of dog here on our hands. What again is important is make sure that they are following a consistent healthy growth schedule. Make sure they're not overeating once or twice a day. Make sure that they're eating multiple times a day so that they can get the proper development. Next we're going to talk about treats. Make sure that you guys are limiting treats for rewarding behavior and make sure that you are using treats for less than 10% of your dog's total diet. So we don't use that many treats around here. We use jerky sticks and we use like little pork sweet biscuits that we get from our BarkBox subscription. But other than that, we pretty much just use their food to train. Uh, we do like to reward them with a, with a beef stick or you know, like even a good steak for the big dogs. But treats are definitely, definitely something fun for the dogs. So you don't wanna cut out on them, but you wanna make sure not to overuse them. Alrighty guys, and for the last tip that I have is make sure that these guys have good access to clean, fresh water every single day. Our dogs have multiple water bowls around the house and one in the backyard so that these guys don't ever get thirsty. Having a lot of water around helps prevent any stomach problems. If a dog can feel that their stomach's getting upset, they might go drink a lot of water. Sometimes you'll see your dog drinking a ton of water and you think, oh, I didn't think you were that thirsty. Well, maybe he had ate something earlier and now he's trying to drink more water or she is trying to drink more water to balance out their stomach after getting an upset stomach. So even though we talked about it last, water is probably one of the most beneficial things to your dog's health, just like it is to us as humans. Make sure that these guys are getting hydrated the way that they need to by leaving plenty of clean and fresh water around the house. Alrighty, for those of you Roddy lovers that stuck around for this whole video, I've got a bonus and pro tip for you guys. And that is, don't be afraid to ask for help. There's plenty of dog groups on Facebook. There's this channel. Be active in the comments below. Really all this tip is is just please don't be afraid to ask for advice. There's too many resources for you and your pet to have a great healthy life. So don't be afraid to ask. Thank you guys for watching today's video and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. So we're gonna get Junior fed up first. And we'll get the big dogs.